find the angle of trigonometry equation for positive angle in the first quadrant sin theta, cos theta, tangent theta or positive. We know that for the special angle we just apply for the first quadrant if the equation given in the second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant then we want to find the value without using the calculator so we want to change for the second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant to the first quadrant the method is okay by using the formula given below for second quadrant sin theta equal to sin 180 degree minus theta cos theta equal to negative cos 180 degree minus theta tangent theta equal to negative tangent 180 degree minus theta for third quadrant sin theta equal to negative sin theta minus 180 degree cos theta equal to negative cos theta minus 180 degree tangent theta equal to tangent theta minus 180 degree for four quadrant if you want to change for the four quadrant to the first quadrant so sin theta equal to negative sin 316 degree minus theta cos theta equal to cos 316 degree minus theta tangent theta equal to negative tangent 360 degree minus theta we can summarize that all the trigonometry ratio are positive in the first quadrant sine is positive in the second quadrant tangent is positive in the third quadrant and cos is positive in the fourth quadrant negative angle negative angle if it is rotate in the cos y direction in general sine negative theta equal to negative sine theta cos negative theta equal to cos theta tangent negative theta equal to negative tangent theta example 3 state the trigonometry ratio in acute angle a sine 140 degree b cos 226 degree c tangent negative 211 degree a sine 140 degree we know that 114 degree in the second quadrant sine is positive in second quadrant so for second quadrant want to change to the first quadrant we may use the 118 degree minus theta from this case our theta is 114 degree so sine 140 degree equal to sine 118 degree minus 114 degree equal to sine 14 degree b cos 226 degree 226 degree in third quadrant we know that cos is negative in third quadrant then for third quadrant want to change to the first quadrant we will use the theta minus 118 degree for this case our theta is 226 degree so cos 226 degree equal to negative cos 236 degree minus 118 degree equal to negative cos 46 degree c tangent negative 211 degree we know that tangent negative theta equal to negative tangent theta so tangent of negative 211 degree equal to negative tangent 211 degree and 211 degree in third quadrant so tangent is positive in third quadrant then for third quadrant we use the theta minus 118 degree so for this case our theta is 211 degree so negative tangent 211 degree is equal to negative tangent 211 degree minus 118 degree equal to negative tangent 31 degree example 4 without using calculator find the value of the following a cos 210 degree b tangent negative 120 degree a cos 210 degree we know that 210 degree in the third quadrant cos is negative in third quadrant for third quadrant want to change to the first quadrant we will use the theta minus 180 degree for this case our theta is 210 degree 
So cos 210 degree equal to negative cos 210 degree minus 118 degree equal to negative cos 13 degree. We know that special angle for cos 13 degree equal to sub 3 over 2. So the answer equal to negative sub 3 over 2. B. Tangent negative 180 degree. We know that tangent of negative theta equal to negative tangent theta. So tangent of negative 120 degree equal to negative tangent 120 degree. 120 degree in the second quarter. Tangent is negative in the second quarter. So want to change from the second quarter to first quarter, we will use the 180 degree minus theta. So for this negative first, we just copy back. And then tangent 120 degree equal to negative tangent 118 degree minus 120 degree. Negative time negative, we will get positive. So it's equal to tangent 16 degree. And then special angle for tangent 16 degree is equal to sub 3. Proof of the trigonometry identity. Sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. 1 plus cotangent square theta equal to cosecant square theta. 1 plus tangent square theta equal to second square theta. Example 5. Proof that A. Tangent theta plus cotangent theta equal to second theta cosecant theta. B. Cotangent power 4 theta plus cotangent square theta equal to cosecant power 4 theta minus cosecant square theta. A. We want to prove that tangent theta plus cotangent theta equal to second theta cosecant theta. A lot of the students think that proving for identical identity, we just use the try and error. But I can inform you that if you just try and error, then the result or the error. So actually, we have the techniques to prove the trigonometric identity. Okay, either we can just start from left hand side to the right hand side or right hand side to the left hand side. For this example, I will start from left hand side to right hand side. Okay, for left hand side, we get is tangent theta plus cotangent theta. Where for the right hand side, the result they just want second theta and cosecant theta. This means that they don't want answer in the term of tangent and cotangent. So tangent is can expect in the form of ratio where tangent theta equal to sine theta over cos theta and cotangent theta equal to cos theta over sine theta. Now we want to pass, we must equal the denominator. So for the numerator, sine theta needs to find with the sine theta so become sine square theta and then for the second term cos theta also find the cos theta become cos square theta and then denominator become cos theta times sine theta so we know that from the identity sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one so we substitute sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to one into numerator so become 1 over cos theta sin theta. Now we separate cos theta and sin theta. This become 1 over cos theta times 1 over sin theta. And then we know that 1 over cos theta equal to second theta and 1 over sin theta equal to cos second theta. Uh, then this we already prove. B. We want to prove that cotangent power 4 theta plus cotangent square theta equal to cosecant power 4 theta minus cosecant square theta. So we start from the left hand side. So it's cotangent power 4 theta plus cotangent square theta. So we refer that for the both term, they have the common factor cotangent square theta. So we factor line cotangent square theta. So first term, after we factor line cotangent square theta, still remain is cotangent square theta second term is remain one and then we refer the light side they want to show the result is cosecant power four theta minus cosecant square theta so for this we know they must be train the cotangent square theta to the cosecant four theta we have the identity one plus cotangent square theta equal to cosecant square theta if we want to let cotangent square become the title, this means that we don't want one. 
this positive one move to light side become negative so we get this cotangent square theta equal to cosecant square theta minus one now for the first term we substitute cotangent square theta equal to cosecant square theta minus one and then for the second term cotangent square theta plus one is equal to cosecant square theta and then we expand so cosecant square theta times cosecant square theta is equal to cosecant power for theta and then negative one times cosecant square theta equal to negative cosecant square theta then we finished for proving okay just all for today thank you